Okay, now let's do the perpendicular part. That's how parallel works. You have the same slope, and what changes is the y-intercept. So what about perpendicular? Perpendicular. The symbol for perpendicular is this. It's an upside down T. And what that upside down T shows you is that there are 90 degree angles. There are right angles. Two things are gonna touch, two lines are gonna touch at a right angle. Spend a whole other page drawing all of this. Perpendicular is the title of this part. We're gonna do one graph with two pieces. We're gonna do six, sorry, we're gonna do five quick examples. We're gonna write a couple sentences and then we're gonna need some space to do two example problems. Pause the video. All right, let's do it. One half x plus one, two x minus three. Did we do two x minus three in the last one? We did. So we can just copy those same points and not have to make the table again. I'll use my memory. You can just flip back and copy the table. 0, 1, 2, negative 3, negative 1, 1. Let's make our axis 0, negative 3. I'll use a different color. 0, negative 3, 1, negative 1, 2, 1. That's 2x minus 3. Let's do green. Negative one half x plus one. X, y, zero, one, two. That's gonna make one. I'm doing a half, so this one's gonna make, ooh, we're going down. This is a negative, so I do negative one half times one plus one to get 0. 0.5. Two times negative one half is gonna be a negative one plus one is going to make zero. My points are zero, one, and I can't do a half on this tiny graph, so I'll do two, zero. One, zero, sorry, zero, one, two, zero. You should be doing your graph on graph paper, so yours is going to look better than this. Or you're using a digital graph. <clears throat> but mine, I erased that other part because it, I didn't draw the line straight, so it looked curved. But this should be at a right angle. These two lines should intersect at 90 degrees, no matter how you look at it. From this way, 90 degrees there, 90 degrees there. Perpendicular lines make 90 degree angles all the way around. Now let's look at the actual equations. Between these two things, what's similar? Okay, they both have y and x. The y intercepts are different. That's not special. What is special is that this one has a negative slope, this one has a positive slope. If we're drawing on a graph and we have some line, the only way you're ever going to make a right angle is if the other line has a negative slope. There's no way you can write a right angle if the lines have the same slope. So to go at a right angle from this one, it has to have a positive slope. To go at a right angle from here, it would have to have a negative slope. So whatever the slope of one line is, the perpendicular line will have the negative, the um, opposite. Negative is an opposite slope. Because if it goes in the same, if they both have the same slope, like this one's positive, this one's positive, 
no matter what the positive is, the only way you're going to get a right angle is if they have negative a negative relationship between their slopes. So the slopes have a negative and they also have a fractional type of relationship. This one's a two, the regular number two, this one's a one half. What happens is we took the one half and we flipped it to be a two over one, which is just the number two. Every time we do perpendicular lines, you're going to do the reciprocal. And the reciprocal means the flip of the fraction. If they give you a regular number, you're going to change it to be one fourth. And we'll get there when we get there. So the slopes have a negative reciprocal. Relationship. The lines cross at a 90 degree angle. The lines cross at a 90 degree angle. The slopes have a negative reciprocal relationship. Take a look at these examples. I made a mistake when going through this in my recording, so I'm going back over it, and the mistake was down at this bottom part. When we're doing the slope of something that's perpendicular, then we are going to first do the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of three is going to be one third, and then the second thing you need to do is you need to make it negative, or you need to do the opposite of whatever it is. And this second example, we have the slope of negative one is the first version. So the reciprocal of negative one is still one, but the opposite sign of negative one is positive one. For the perpendicular of number eight, the flip of one half is two, but then the slope started out positive one half, so now we're gonna make it a negative two and that'll make that right angle when we graph this. The slope of number nine is one, so the reciprocal is still one. It started out positive, so if we need it to turn in the other direction, we need this to be a negative one. M is equal to negative one. Lastly, we have negative three-fourths. Flip that over is four-thirds. Change it from a negative to a positive and you get m is equal to 4 thirds for the slope. Enjoy the rest of the video. Last example. Examples. 3x plus 5. Flip the slope. Flip the slope. Make it negative. Put x plus b. We're going to have to find when does 6, 4 fit into this equation. So we're going to put 6 for x, negative 1 third, times 6, plus b, is equal to 4. Do this part first, and then put a negative on the answer. 6 divided by 3. That's 2. So we're going to have, let me clear this off, 4 equals negative 2, plus b. To move to 2, we'll add it to get b equals 6. If we add this 2, it's going to give us 6 on the left, b on the right. That means y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 6. Last one, easy one. That slope, right now it's a negative 1. So if you flip 1 over, it's still 1. Right now it's negative, so we're going to change the sign to be positive. y equals x plus b. Then throw this in here. 6 for y, negative 2 for x, plus b. Add the 2. b equals 8. Second equation, y equals 
x plus 8. Done. Okay, that should be everything you need in order to do today's assignment. Try it out. Watch the video a second time if you need to. Look up other videos if you need to. But parallel lines keep the slope the same. They change the y-intercept. Perpendicular lines flip the slope and make it negative, or they change the sign. If it started out negative, now it's going to be positive, like in this example. And the y-intercept does change. Good luck.